What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the Comfortable Podcast. I'm Marcus. I'm Kitra. And I'm Holland. And yeah, we're on part two of our, I don't know, kind of letting the audience get to know us. And today we're going to lock in on the beautiful Kitra Bell. On me. Yay. <laughs> All right. Wait, have you guys seen that? The self-conscious or self-aware baby is like, y'all, y'all me. Y'all be telling me about it. i seen the, they got a billboard on mm-hmm. in Phoenix. Have what you time? seen it? Oh. Me. <laughs> Who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? Yes, me. mother. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love those videos. But y'all straight, how y'all doing today, man? Good. What's the vibes like today? How we feeling? I mean, I'm chilling. I be chilling every day. Yeah. Same, same shit, different. Yeah. Same old. I feel like our days have been more productive. Like, we're getting back to our routine. I just love, I love being, we were just talking about this. I love being a podcast. Like, this is just fun. We just set up cameras and talk. Mm-hmm. It gives us something to do. Yeah. Like we said, it's just, we already have our routines. We do what we do. But this just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Adds another component element. Mm-hmm. To it's our literally lives. like ready, set, go, and then boom, camera's rolling. How long Here do you we think are. we're gonna be doing this? For as long as I can. Damn, we will be forty. <laughs> literally forty with the pod. <laughs> Hopefully, like podcasts are still like popping. Like you know, people are gonna still want to see people on a podcast. But you think YouTube 40. and stuff like that'll be around still? Maybe. If, like forty. I not don't know. Forty years from well, you said when we're forty, so. 15 years from now damn that's well, close i really don't know because we <laughs> like, had things like myspace and vine i thought vine would be here yeah it's for a, a long time but it, by that time it'll be something new like yeah it won't be just like oh youtube's going to, like something will fill that void i feel like i was actually thinking about this the other day i feel like more and more as time goes the more like content wise it goes from okay people like watching things are scripted and then now people like watching people doing stuff in real time mm-hmm. so it's like what is going to be the next like streaming streaming and even podcasts it's not real facts. time but it's like us talking i don't think streaming is going anywhere like yeah. anytime soon. i think streaming is just starting yeah, yeah. that's gonna be here for that's a new. minute i seen a clip of kai talking about like his future plans and stuff of what mm-hmm. he's got going on and he was like using the new gta coming out as an example mm-hmm. of he was like that's like gonna be the beginning of people you don't even know like mm-hmm. thousands of new streamers like because everyone's gonna be playing that game everyone's gonna be on social time. media like this yeah. is where like a, an opportunity almost for people to like get into streaming like mm-hmm. like here you go here's a golden yeah. opportunity Wait, what year is that coming out gta i don't know i'll be seeing hella shit on twitter 25 2026 26 25 i have no idea yeah well, uh. they should have waited to announce it because yeah now it's what like, we have to wait. Well, y'all, I don't play GTA. <laughs> you might get on that one. I actually used to play games, video games. Get on, fuck it. Left 4 Dead, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Zombies. Damn. Mm-hmm. You're a gamer. You play more than me. You would eat as a streamer. Yeah, I've yeah, been told. Yeah, facts. You would cook as a streamer. I used to play with my little brother. Shout out my little brother, Tyus. Love you. Shout um, out, Ty. I used to play with him. We grew up playing Xbox, actually. It was PlayStation first, and then we went to Xbox. When Xbox came out, that was like, oh, my God, the new thing. Xbox like, was popping. Yeah. I had an Xbox. So this was like it 2008, never. 9, 10 mm-hmm. when it came out. Yeah, that's when I used to, I had a headset. I had a gamer chair, everything. I used to, I had a Xbox Live account. Would I'd you, add friends Would you consider stuff. yourself like more of like a tomboy at that age? Yeah. Uh, you, you weren't like into the girly stuff. Yeah, because I, I had two older sisters and then my little brother. I feel like once my little brother was born, I was like, yeah, that's mine. That's mine, yeah. That's, that's twin. Are you and your younger brother closer in age than you and your sisters? Or are you guys mm, all like we're relatively all kind of the same. close in age? Yeah, we're like, we're pretty close to so, like mm-hmm. two and a half again. But yeah, me and Ty, like he, I, he just had like a lot of influence on me. Like when I was little and like, yeah, whatever he liked, I liked. Mm-hmm. If that was the playing video games running outside jumping on the trampoline like i don't know like yeah yeah. so yeah i definitely probably was a a town boy a little bit when i was younger all right so and now i'm a girly girl let's talk let's talk iowa (laughs) i mean do you love it it. did you like growing up there like what was the pros and cons um let's start with the pros and then i'll go to the cons pros um my family's all there like growing up I was around, like, around my mom and my dad's side of the family a lot. And I don't know. I didn't really realize until I got older that I was like, 
wow i'm in iowa like i'm in the middle of nowhere because yeah. when you're young it just like wherever you're at doesn't matter if it's good or bad like you're just having fun it's just your world yeah, yeah. So I just had fun. Like it was really fun when I was little. And then as soon as I started getting older and I started having like ideas of what I wanted to do, I realized where I was is not the place for that. Not even close, not even a little bit, not even like somewhere near was, I mean, we had Chicago, but it's like, you know, that's not like, that's not where I'm from. But anyways, so the pros would be like, yeah, my family growing up, I had a really good childhood there. It was fun. Mm -hmm. And then cons, I don't know. I just feel like I, there wasn't really a lot of people like me. Like, yeah. it was hard for me to find someone that was like me. Like, I could find, I had friends, but they weren't, like, like me. I was always feeling, like, different than everybody, mm -hmm. low-key. And then I just realized, like, okay, well, when I get older, I can move out of this place. Like, I don't have to be here. And there can, I can find people like me. So I knew I wasn't going to be there for the rest of my life. Yeah, well, I mean, so there is people that are there, and that's fine, but I just knew that wasn't for me. Would you say, like, like do you see Iowa in you now like do you do you think it molded you into yeah yeah you? I do because I think it's like I, when people me too. can see like they perceive me over the social media and they're probably like oh she's probably so full of herself she's probably like a bitch and like all these things but I think like I was super thoughts when I first met yeah <laughs> like she like she, she probably not. just like which I can be if you're <laughs> if you're disrespectful to me I can be disrespectful back to you but that's a whole nother thing. It's actually nice. Yeah, I'm, I just feel like it humbled me. Like, it just gave me, like, under, like it made me comfortable, too, to, like, just go up to talk to people. Mm -hmm. Like, because nobody around me was like, oh, I'm my parents are this. I mean, there was some people like that, but we're all in Iowa. We're all in the same boat. We're all in the same situation. You don't really have to act like that. Like, I think about when you went to Sierra Kane mm -hmm. or, like, places in L.A. or stuff like that. Yeah. Just I, We didn't we had nothing like that so everyone was just kind of the same everyone's situation was kind of similar so we're all just like nice right. when you not say everyone. when you say people like like you like not being from there but like you've you've branched out now and you've mm -hmm. quote unquote found people like you yeah what do you feel like separates you then from like who I everyone what? else in your industry like your peers and stuff like what do you feel like then? separates you now oh now Cause like you said, you've branched out and like you found more people like you. Yeah. And you guys all relatively have the same job, but what do you mm -hmm. feel like separates you from them? I think my ability to just not get like I I do take my job or like Instagram, social media, like I do take it seriously, but I don't get consumed in it. Like I'm not like constantly like looking at the numbers and people and who it is and who's in my likes and like Just holy <gasps> shit there's no way that <laughs> there's no way bro i just I, i've been telling this story like a hundred times i was sleeping the other night and a moth literally just hit like tapped me in my forehead i was sleeping i woke up i'm like oh my god i was so mad but um yeah i think i'm not trying to like be the best on social media like i actually do care about like my real life and like my physical self like i'm not constantly and i know a lot of girls are like that so i'm not saying no one is like that at all but i just feel like i care about like my actual well-being not just like the numbers and like i don't know also you got stuff like that i think what separates you you got morals and oh self-respect self absolutely <laughs> yeah, you have some substance yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not just it's not just like it's not like <laughs> i don't know i just i feel like i have, I have layers like I, I don't just like I don't know sure. someone close to me always like says they need to fill their cup and I feel like that's an ex like you've used that too I've mm -hmm. heard you say that so I feel like if your life cup isn't filled like you don't give a fuck about so, like yeah. you'll go on a social media hiatus yes. like mm -hmm. even though it is your yeah. job but it's like I don't care like, like if like, I'm not fully feeling like real like my real self like or if I'm not feeling in my routine, I'm like, yeah, y'all will see me when you see me on social media. I'm not gonna sit here and fake it till I make I can fake it till I make it. I'm actually pretty good at that. Mm -hmm. But right, are you happy right now? You good right yeah. now? Yeah. No, I'm happy. I'm not saying like I'm going through stuff, but I just feel like I don't know. Like right now I'm on a whole eating healthy, working out, like I just I don't know, like cutting all the bs out yeah. trying to get great sleep yeah. getting up staying motivated <laughs> all types of yeah. shit you know self-improvement yeah yeah do you feel like 
my next question that I wanted to ask you was about like a time you felt like you stepped out of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. but like we've already kind of like been talking about Iowa. Yeah. Do you feel like leaving Iowa was your biggest stepping out of your comfort zone? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I do. But I also think like the way I, like who I was in Iowa is like pretty much who I am now. I mm -hmm. feel like anybody that's from back home and I stay close to like family and like some friends from back home. And I feel like they're like, like you've been this way. This, so I think just me being myself, even in Iowa, who I am now, that was me stepping out of my comfort zone. Cause like I said, not a lot of people were like me. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of people would be posting on the way on social media. Like I, I had some girls in high school make fun of me all the time. And I hope y'all watch this <laughs> so y'all see. Cause they're probably I know trying to, they probably trying to do the same thing you're doing right now. Facts. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. They're probably those. Drop the apps. They're probably funny. those. Uh, <laughs> those fake accounts we were just talking about last time. Yeah. That's probably yeah. them. Hey, you know, I'm actually gonna tell a story, and it's gonna be so funny because I know these girls don't know that I know this. Ooh. But oh shit, exclusive. So. <laughs> I used to, you know, do my little thing on Instagram, the way I pose now, the way I am on social media now is the way I was. I've always been that way. When I was in high school, when I was in the middle of Iowa, having 3,000 or 4,000, 5,000 followers, you know, I wasn't popping off yet. And um, these girls went on their Finsta account, and I guess they were doing like this exaggerated pose. They were like, let's act like we're kitcher. Like, let's like doing the most, the absolute most. So I guess that's who I was perceived as. Like somebody just like thought, oh my God, they're all that. Like she has, <laughs> like I said in that last podcast, she has all these dreams and aspirations. Like I guess people that made people uncomfortable that I was like that because nobody else was. Everybody else was just safe and, you know, I wasn't. And mm -hmm. I guess it kind of, it worked out for me yeah. a little bit. I'm still working on it. It's not fully. You think finished. girls like hate on other girls more than like guys? Like guys hate on other guys? Yeah, mm, yeah it could be equal. for sure. Because be you got to think, you always like you're bound to hear a girl talking about another girl before you hear a guy talking about another guy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like girls, like especially if that girl is either talking to the guy that they want to talk to, or if she's doing like. I don't know. I just, I just don't feel like guys care enough, or at least at least for me, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't care enough to like down talk somebody, another man. Mm -hmm. But girls will do it. I feel like the best way I can explain it is, I feel like girls genuinely will like hate another girl, mm -hmm. like almost for just like how just they being. look or yeah. mm -hmm. how they are. And then I feel like guys, guys compare to other guys, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys that's will like true. compare to another person's situation and like mm -hmm. hate on that. Yeah, like yeah, I, agree I with think that 100%. I just think that's natural. I think yeah. women are more emotional in every mm -hmm. sense. I just feel like yeah, like, even from from love to jealousy to sadness. I just feel like mm -hmm. they're just super way more emotional yeah. than men. I feel like when guys are hating, it comes from like a competitive part of mm -hmm. like yeah. Like, why isn't that me? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. I feel like a lot of girls, too, they'll make a mold of you. And, like, especially if you're a pretty girl, they'll just... It's so easy for people to be like, she's pretty, she thinks she's all that. It's like, no one really wants to take the time to, like, get to know mm -hmm. that person. It's so easy to just pass that judgment. And, like, if you don't fit into that mold, it almost makes them more mad. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, like, why is she nice? Like, oh, it's like, just like... <laughs> You know, so that's weird. I've ran into that issue a lot. I'm like, dang, like, you know. Yeah, girls gonna don't know girls. why people are like that. Yeah, but um, I'm move move on to the next topic. Um, I know you went to like fashion and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a pretty big part of your life. What would you say is like, or who would you say is like your two or three, like, fashion, whether it be models or. Like who are your your muses or inspirations? So my, come, my number one, I already know. Who? It's Rihanna. Riri. Yeah. You know bad gal. The Kiki. bad gal. That era. Like I don't know. I like right now. Like yeah. But I think the era that I'm like when I think about Rihanna being a fashion inspo for me, I think it's like the 2012 through 16 era. She. Yeah. She just I don't know. She ate, and I really like that. Yeah. I wish she dropped music still. Mm-hmm. Her ain't ASAP. Do you think Me she's too. ever going to make a comeback? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. I think it's quiet. She better. But, like, 
if she does, do you think it'll be music like she used to, or it's gonna be some whole other like? It might be a whole other thing. You think she's done though? Yeah, I think it's. I think, I think it'll be a feature here and there, kind of like Jay Z. Like he'll drop a feature, and I don't think she's gonna drop an album. But maybe, maybe. I mean, is she working on something like R Nine? Am I tripping? Or am I, I just thought she was working on like a reggae album? Oh yeah, I heard, I about heard that it, too. but I felt like that was like two years ago. Yeah, but she's don't fine. sleep on. <laughs> not me glazing right now but don't sleep <laughs> on all this other stuff she's had going on like no for sure her fashion shows no she's killing yeah she killing her right like the ones she has on i think amazon prime she has that's the fenty yeah the fenty shows the dancers paris I she's feel like her OD. yeah her, her and asap got insane. like a little wave right now like in the fashion world for sure. not even the music and that's i think that's impressive to be able to like switch mm-hmm. the industry you but know she's I mean? also been like a like i said fashion inspo for so many people she's like a beauty she's a what do you what do you want to call a sex symbol like she just really is and she's just played off that lingerie her face her beauty her makeup brand that's what it's about though you gotta find your niche and And then just like make money off of it like you think like i feel like people took drake like this and asap but like he was really maybe giving him like business advice Mm. (laughs) what what do you mean like stay away from the music like Lock in on, like lock in on them fits. Like, he had to do all that though, bro. Nah, he took it way too deep. Yeah. Yeah. Let me have a little. That was like one speak of those things that. you just kind of just you let time fly and then you just keep making music. You don't respond to that. Yeah, that's that's a straight pettiness, like pure. There was some bitterness behind a that. A little bitterness. <laughs> yeah, that was hatred. <laughs> that's what we just talked about. That's a man. <laughs> like that was pure hate. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but I guess. But I guess. Rocky, in the sense that did the same kind of dig before. Mm-hmm. And Drake hating because like to women, like women love women love ASAP. Like yeah. I don't know why they love ASAP. Mm-hmm. You think Drake's hating because like he's not that guy? No, I don't think it's but that. I think it's strictly over that girl. Over, over Riri. Riri. I think got him in the headlock a little bit. But yeah. hey, I don't know. I don't know these people. I'm just, this is it's all allegedly. 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 I don't know. I don't know allegedly. these people. Allegedly. It could be some whole other shit going on. We just yapping. I don't yeah. know. But Kitcher, yeah. do you have like any cuz we're talking about them too now. Do you have any like relationship advice for women specifically that are into athletes? Hmm. Because that's a good question. You know yeah. how like we all know a lot of girls they're automatically going to Athletes are cheaters. Mm-hmm. Athletes are these people. Mm-hmm. Athletes are these people. Mm-hmm. But like, obviously, you've been in a long, healthy relationship yeah. with one. So, like, do you actually, have a I actually, any advice? At first, started off perceiving yeah she she him as that just because I had that same feeling like with athletes. I was like, just too much access. They have too much going on. Type shit. So I guess I, I really did. I, I don't know. So I would be giving advice. I would just be like basically saying how things played out for me or how I changed my perspective. Mm. I think it can't be just fully like you changing your mind. I do think it does rely a lot about like the person you decide to be in a relationship mm. with. I think that does kind of like carry some weight because it's like. I could think, oh, athletes aren't cheaters and da da da, but then still, you, it, Marks could be out here, which he's not. Come on, but man. Stop, playing, stop playing with me. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> put that on my name. I guess you, for me, a relationship advice I would get to girls that are interested in athletes is when you find somebody that has like the right intent, and if you have the right intent, like that, I feel like that shit will work. Because I feel like sometimes people get an athlete's to athletes for the lifestyle and money or whatever the case mm-hmm. it may be. So you're already starting the relationship with, with the wrong intent. And then you find that person and you think, oh, or you could have the right intent. And then you find that person and think, oh yeah, they love me, but I know he, he did all this and that. And Part of me feels like, like you said, how you phrase it, like if you're going into a relationship saying like, Yo, I'm only interested in athletes, you got the wrong mindset. Yeah. I just feel like it's just like a person you got to yeah. be, you know what I mean? You got to start all, the, all it's over. It's the vibe. It, it can be anybody, but mm-hmm. you know, these days that's not how it is, obviously. But yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah I just feel like you just got to find somebody that's like, that ha- like, whether it be an athlete or not an athlete, just like a regular person, like you just got to find somebody that has like that same, those same morals, like that same like, structure as you that's yeah, looking for the same thing that you're looking for same like wavelength for yeah sure. 
Because that's why I, I feel I like we got that. Yeah, we, we, got we definitely, bit. we were looking for the same thing in yeah. other, like, in people. And we found out in each other. Look how God worked. Tough. That's tough. <laughs> God is beautiful. Nick starts clapping in the back. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, let's make this a little bit fun. What is your, what, what would you say is your favorite conspiracy theory? Mm, I know mine. Well, it's not conspiracy theory. It's just a question. Like, how do you guys think the pyramids were made, built? Mm. Do you think, like, people people back in the day were just, you know, going up, aligning the, the pyramids perfectly perfect and as tall as they are? Like, it's just a question. Like, think about it and then go Google it and then watch videos about it because I just feel like that's a good one. I think they had some type of advanced machinery. Like there's like they didn't Machinery? do it. Yeah. Oh. Like I don't know. Like that, it people? just doesn't make sense, bro. Like, or things. My I'm little brother, like my little brother, like he's ever since he brought this theory up to me. Like I can't like get off of it. Like he feel like he strongly believes like we're not on like a timeline. Like okay, he believes explain. like we're just in a loop where we reset. Like and it just keeps going around, and he feels like there's essentially time travelers but obviously time travel is <laughs> not so a crazy. thing like rick and morty like they can hop yes, timelines like that but it's like but you can't go back you can only people hop are different or but it's like it's not going back because we're like yes yeah you get what i'm saying so it's like Kinda, he, yeah. he feels people are put at a point in time to like help further advance like yo here's like here's the answers mm-hmm and then like lets them do what they do with it and then like that's how they advance Damn, that's fire so like that's like his theory and it's like i've seen a movie like there's a movie like that really yeah just like mm-hmm. you said rick and morty and you talking about this next movie like they'll put it like they'll put like what's really going Subliminal on it like messages. subliminals in movies and shows and stuff so like, I, think it's that's why. I like rick and morty so much because it has like dark humor and it's sometimes really fucked up stuff so like i'm not saying go watch it like i don't recommend it for everybody but it is one of my favorites just because there's like deeper messages in it and it's just like okay i don't feel crazy like there is some like you know every time like, i watch i'll just be like what is going on bro? <laughs> no it's really you can't i love it you don't know what's gonna happen next you don't like it's just you don't oh <laughs> i love it but how do you feel about like i don't i never really watched the simpsons Mm. But like I'm sure you guys see the videos they of like predict they, they predicted the, yeah. Do you think it's like they have so many episodes? No, I think half of them should just be fake for real. What do you mean? Like I th- I don't think those I I might be wrong. I never watched the Simpsons and none, but I think like there's no way like, it'd be like scores and teams and no, the I've Super Bowl. Stamped, yeah. I've stamped it. Like I've went and like really looked is this a real episode like See like see no nah, that's spooky. Drop. That's that's scary to me. I don't even want to talk about that. Cuz that show's been on for I don't. Do you know how long The Simpsons has been on? Like, yeah, like Dang. a long time. So it's like, you think they've just made so many episodes? Like things have happened, True. or like no, they, they know Simpsons nah, also bro. has <laughs> subliminal messages. Nah, bro. I, like, I'm thinking like people are like making it, like making like, no. screenshots like on their own and like making it match no. and to go viral. Or have something. you guys seen The Simpsons movie? Mm-hmm. No. Have you no, seen I it? Not. Where they find out they're like living in a dome that's like controlled by their. Bro, it's literally oh like, my god! It's like COVID. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's like, crazy. The world got infected. They put them in a dome. They yes, couldn't go they anywhere. Yep. They that's were all you, going crazy. Mm-hmm. Like this is why you just gotta stay prayed up, bro, and just vibe out until your time, <laughs> yeah. bro. Because like you get to think yeah, about this type shit. Sometimes that shit could keep you up at night. There's so many questions, but I feel like <laughs> be up at three in the morning. Right. <laughs> stressed out you could talk about conspiracies forever yeah like there's just so many things we don't have the answers to throw another another one out there just like government stuff like (laughs) yeah bro we all i blame everything on the government we all all watch scandal Mm -hmm. like b613 like anybody could be like 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 olivia pope like the president is wilding like this is nuts yeah (laughs) Olivia, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> they was talking about that damn Vermont, bro. Nobody. Oh my god! Trying to hear that shit. Did I'm she sure ever go to Vermont? The sun. I think at the end they ended up in Vermont. Did right? she ever go? I think yeah, because memory was um, 
his wife or the the lady the first spoilers. lady became the president remember <laughs> spoilers ahead oh yeah if you haven't watched scandal bro i hate skip Cy- this part cyrus what's his name cyrus, cyrus. what's his last name um oh he? my god i hate that who guy. was cyrus the vice president yeah he yes. ended up being the president everybody ended up being the president <gasps> melanie melly was the president yeah, <laughs> yeah. like how is there four presidents in I forgot like four about years that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was that would good, be though. crazy we Man. we've watched all the way to the end, all eight seasons. I tried to rewatch it, but it's one of those it shows like yeah, like it's a one time because yeah. you got to binge that. You got to hit it and quit it. Yeah, sure. like there's no way I was watching that every week. Like mm-hmm. I'm not waiting for that. We were me and Marcus would like get so excited to go back home and watch it. Remember that? Yeah. We're oh, like, you were. Let's get a snack. We're gonna go watch. Oh, you were locked in. Yeah, yes. I was locked. That's like one of the first shows. Cause I don't you you know me y'all know me. I don't really watch like. Mm-mm. Unless it's like based on something real or something yeah. like that, like I don't really watch TV shows. So yeah. it's like that was the first one. I was like every episode i'm in there yeah it has sure. to be like realistic it can't be a fake fantasy about superheroes like the boys the boys you, you like the boys I though love the boys oh my god it's you so don't good. like that one the new it's season's coming gory. out june, yeah that one's june something something i think like 13th or 14th yeah i'm a nerd I'm game of thrones so is coming excited. out in july never gotten to game of thrones. i'm gonna be talking about that y'all can let me have my own segment yeah i'll talk to the game we'll of have thrones a fans screen, you're like, <laughs> yeah just me you got that's like oh, yeah. let's get we should get back to her. Oh yeah. Back <laughs> All to right, um, me. I have a I have okay. a actu- I have a good so question. Slow. Like another like it can tie in with the relationship one mm-hmm. because I feel like our dynamic is a little different and I don't know if it's because of me and his friendship is almost like we're brothers. Yeah. But how do you feel about being friends? with like your significant other's friends like having like me and you have a relationship like we're friends like you're like my sister Mm -hmm. obviously that's a little different Mm -hmm. but like do you feel like like he can be friends with my female friends no how do you feel like how do you feel about it like oh yeah i mean i feel like when you're with somebody like we're with you all the time we've lived with you so it's Mm -hmm. like we're gonna be friend like we're gonna like get to know each other and like Mm -hmm. and i feel like Marcus's people I don't feel like the people he would surround himself around like I wouldn't just vibe with like I feel like I don't know the people I surround myself with I feel like we just have the same similar type of mm-hmm. like people we want to be around yeah I, and I think it's vice versa that's why I, I get along with your friends so well and mm-hmm. then, like I mean there is the, some of those friends that I'm like eh, I know she's acting the hot but I, like I people I don't be understanding like people be like Maybe they just got did grimy, or I don't know. They'd be like, "Hey, like my girl can't be around or talk to my yeah. friends." Like, oh, I don't yeah, know. I've yeah. never been that. I've never been that like way. So yeah, it's like, no. I don't know. I don't know where that. And like, th- none of your friends have ever like crossed the line with me, so it's like not, not weird. Yeah. It's just like everyone's like respects. Like, and I think they, yeah, I like, wouldn't have nobody around to our even. relationship yeah. too. I feel like Facts. everybody that meets us is like, yeah, I fuck what they got going on. Like, they're cool. Yeah. yeah. And some people, too, though, I feel like some relationships, like, it would almost be weird if, like, for example, I'm, I'm you guys, mm. at first, when you were first around, mm-hmm. like, you didn't even look at me. <laughs> so I was yeah. like. And that might have just been me, like, not being And it was almost like a. Dang, I don't like her. Like yeah. she doesn't even want to try to get to know yeah. me. Yeah, because like we y'all were definitely, so close. y'all definitely yeah. like y'all didn't, y'all didn't vibe. Like you at know first. what? And I think because we already talked about this, there was uh, this is what I hate about like when you enter a group of people that you've never been around. Like you'll get one person that'll come to you and they'll like tell you one thing and then they'll just like put stuff in your ear. Like I've had people tell me like, oh, Holland said this about you. That and so it just started off like. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, dang. Like, I, that's how I felt. I was like, I didn't get to even show who I am. And then, from, like, from his point of view, it's like, damn. That's, you were, I know you some, were getting I know that some, I know some niggas going through that right now. Like, they man's, like, you kicking with her every single day. And all of a sudden, some shorty come in. And it's yeah, like. Yeah, and then, then it, it was just like that. It was just like everything changed. And also, like, I was in you guys' space. So, I was just trying to, like, adjust. I was having people tell me one thing, another. And I'm just trying to, like, navigate and mm-hmm. then once I really was like, you know what? Fuck what other people say. Because I feel like there's a lot, like, people can relate to this. When you get into friend groups, people will just tell you things, try yeah. to, like, play stuff in your ear. Try yeah. to. So I just think I was like, you know what? Let me make my own idea of who this person is. And I was like, oh, yeah. And respectfully, you probably, like, you didn't even really know Marcus yet. So, yeah, like, so I was yeah. trying, trying to, to respect figure him. Out 
Yeah. Everything. Like, I just didn't like. He comes and you're talking to me like, yo, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Like, yeah. Something crazy. There was yeah. so much miscommunication, Crash especially off. between. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait. Yeah. So I guess I was just trying to find like my comfort. I was trying to get to know him, and then that's what made him, me and him, kind of like duck off mm-hmm. when we were all together because it was just like I was trying to like build a relationship. Yeah. I used to pull up, knock on the door, hello, hey, you guys like, want to hey, watch a movie? Hey, guys, want to hang out? <laughs> Anyone want to come out here and watch the show with me? <laughs> Like, now nah, we good, bro. Go ahead. It was like that for <laughs> I was like probably like four months. All right, y'all. The first four months, and mm-hmm. then we then we were like we would go to. I remember we went to the zoo and like we would just do dumb. Yeah, things. It, was, it was like it, it became normal. Yeah, yeah, like every day we're doing something. I remember the funniest part. I always talk about this. At some point, when you guys first got together. Marcus had to keep going back to Sacramento for so like every mm-hmm. weekend. I feel like he yeah, was leaving. I already know what he's gonna say. You were like going out of town, <laughs> bro. I promise. <laughs> I thought Kitra was gone. I would come. It, uh, it seemed like she wasn't. And then I'd be in my room. I feel like as soon as I'd hear my door close, I'll just hear feet start patting across the hallway. Really? <laughs> were you like listening, waiting for him to go in the room? <laughs> like, listen, 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 listen. No, the, the funniest the- part when you was like, you slide food under the door. Yeah, so, I was like, like, a, like a her food door dash. Kidra, I think you got food out here. You can leave it out there. <laughs> like, bro, I'm just trying to do it. Like, Wait, listen. Come I'm get a, your food, bro. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain because I have, for, in my head, I have a valid reason. I don't know if this is a valid reason, like, explanation for you guys. But, like, when I first started coming around, I remember Marcus is, okay, this is, like, a domino effect. So I'm talking about not something different. But your room, it wasn't messy, but it wasn't, like, organized the way I would want it to mm-hmm. organize. So I just wouldn't touch, it was a, like... It was a boy room. <laughs> I just, like... I just respectfully... I was, like, this is not my space yet. I'm just, like, new here. I'm trying to, like... I just was, like, playing that I'm new here. I didn't want to, like, affect anybody's space or anyone's mm-hmm. comfort. I was just, like, doing what I felt was, like... I didn't want to be out in the living room. I didn't want... You know, I just mm-hmm. didn't know. So, I remember the day... Like, the day I asked Marcus, I'm, like, hey, can I clean your room? Like, can <laughs> I... This is, like, three or... No, it's, like, four months into... Four or five months into our relationship. I was, I was like, like can please. I like <laughs> I never be my asked because I always felt like I don't want to touch your stuff and like I didn't want to be invasive mm-hmm. like of your space so I guess that's when Marcus wasn't there I just was like okay I'm just gonna stay in here because I don't know I don't know anybody like I, I hadn't I had no friends I was yeah. 20 I had just turned 20 that and like, same year and again this is like when you first was coming from Iowa too mm-hmm. so you, yeah, you really didn't have no I friends was, for real. I, that was my first time living out of Iowa that I was just trying to like oh man we done came so far yeah, yeah man like, that was so long like, that was I a 2020 how young I would I never was thought we'd time. be doing a podcast right this second like what the hell yeah man, we ended up in front of the camera right 2020 we done been through COVID we did we done quarantined together the first time I met Marcus <laughs> he actually well, was supposed to meet Marcus he had COVID and I was outside I was on FaceTime. She was ready to risk it all. She and was I was like, like, I can just, like, you can just open the door and I can say hi. And he was like, no, I'm sick. Like, I got COVID. So. Yeah, and then we met at a Halloween party. The rest is history. The rest is history, <laughs> man. You were in Iowa during COVID? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Were they strict? Like, was it crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Like, everything was shut down. Arizona people didn't care. They were, really? I'm still outside. No, they were really strict in Iowa. I didn't want to talk about it for a little bit. going to get canceled. The flights were cheap, though. <laughs> I was flying to AZ. My mom, she, my mom was the type of person. She was like, like as long as you're safe, and she just was like, live your life. My Don't stop was, living because it's COVID. My like, mom was like, wear gloves, wear a mask. She was crashing out. <laughs> like, yeah. stop leaving the house. Yeah. My, was she just, was like, my mom was like that too. But she also was just like, you can't just stop living. Like, you got to keep like, what is it you want to do? Keep yeah. doing that. Yeah. I feel like COVID was a good. It either set you back, you either got big and gained weight and just got stagnant, or you really locked in. I will say this: I did pop off on social media during COVID. That was yeah, my. That's when it started. It, it was twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. That's so crazy. Like it was like right there during COVID. I feel like twenty twenty was really like the year of like people taking off on social media. Like if mm-hmm. you capitalized and like mm-hmm. didn't just waste all your time. Yeah. Like. That was a beautiful time. Yep, to it do was. That. It was crazy. I was, I was just a muscle head, bro. I was just <laughs> lifting at You're the crib, in the gym. bro. I came back. <laughs> better than doing nothing, right? Way better than doing yeah, nothing. Yeah, facts for sure. But yeah, I I remember I just was like I decided what I wanted to do was social media modeling, and then I did it, and then I had a post that went viral, and then ever since then I've kind of just like had 
a following and it's just grown bigger and bigger so where do you want to do you want to like take it further with modeling like where do you mm-hmm. want to like what do you want to do with modeling like what do you um, want to get from it i want to do more like be more i want to say commercial but i definitely want to be taking a little bit more serious like in the modeling industry i just feel like when girls do pose on instagram they're just like ig girls the ig models like mm-hmm. i want to actually like i feel like if i was given the opportunity i would make some great campaigns great mm-hmm. pictures yes, and would. so yeah that. Vogue. What's your what's your what's your what's dream up? collab? Mm. Like you want to do? Is there like a brand? Fenty. Yeah. You, like I work, mean, you work with Fenty, huh? Have like you? Fen- Savage X Fenty, yeah. like their lingerie. Yeah. Which oh, another story about that. So in high school, I had made a post and I captioned it. Um, Rihanna's verse. She, she said, "Didn't they tell you that I was a savage?" And I got made, I got bullied so bad for doing that. It's everyone be like, oh, then they tell you that you were a savage. Like everyone was like laughing hey, that's about that's my caption. Like, cause they're like, who does she think she is? And then when I got my first like collab with, I was working with Savage X Fenty, like my first brand thing with them. And I made the caption again. And I was like, we can pop that picture up really quick. Cause <laughs> yeah. that picture was fire. And it what popped was up. The, what was the post that made you like, pop off um, like what was your viral was it, it was sliding one and you know it's crazy i remember i was at my house it was during i think it was 2019 or 2020 beginning of 2020 it was a picture i made it like a swipe so it was like we can pop that one up too i think <laughs> so it's like you can swipe it and it shows a full picture so it's like one picture and then the second swipe is like the the full picture mm-hmm. so you if you swipe it in the middle yeah. it would show like my face it was my face yeah, and I like then that, like that, that i That's think that. it almost got a hundred thousand likes Damn. And from that, man, Sheesh. it was like a flood. I will never forget that day. I remember I looked at my mom. My, I told my mom, like, I didn't want to run track anymore. I just told her I was like. <laughs> <laughs> it was that moment. Wait, do you, do you remember? God, do you remember that like, same year. Do you remember, like, your first deal? Like, how did that feel? Like, Oh, yeah. I probably was like, damn, I, I think can make it was money? with Boohoo. And I, when I show my mom, like, how much they pay me, she's like, oh, this is for real. Like, you're getting paid. Like, and then she was just like, do it. That's lit. Yeah. You're, you can do that. That's do the it. life. And then that's because that's what do, during COVID. And she's just like, keep going. Like, what? Like, and I just, it just all hit me at once. And it was crazy. For girls that are like getting into modeling, like, can it be a full time job for them? Like, to really make a career off of it? Yeah. But I think Lex did a really good job explaining it. It can become very. It can it could be a, like a toxic thing too because it's like you're constantly comparing yourself to like girls and like the way they look and body type, age, everything. So it's very competitive. But if once you find your lane and find like your niche and like what you're good at, you can do that. Yeah, and right. like modeling is so the variety of modeling is so big. Like you you don't have to like look a specific way. If you have a very unique look, like they're gonna somebody's gonna pick you up. Somebody's mm-hmm. gonna like the way you look. Anyone can model. I always told Marcus he can model. I think he can model. I think Holland, so too. You can model. Anybody can model. We all are models. Just kidding. I feel like I just got pity points. <laughs> just right there, me. Huh? I feel like I just got pity points because she gave you like no. the, the model. Holland. I'm just saying because like he's my she like. Type I, two, I, I just I don't know. I always tell Marcus he can model. I'm he's getting into it. Man. I'm trying to get into it, but you know, yeah. I'm gonna let it come to me with time. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna try to force it yeah i feel like i could take pictures i feel like i can't walk a runway oh yeah you can do whatever like, you want to do bro i just feel like my body type like i'm not like I'm too thick yeah no i'm not walking like a runway like i'm just saying no super bro, what? chill before before what? everybody get too crazy he just told me he said you're too thick no <laughs> hey, hear, me, yo. hear me out a model what it, they're supposed to, like they usually go for the thinner frame but you're mm-hmm. not a thinner person like, like you're Paris. huh like Paris. yeah they yeah, go for like Paris. Mo- Shout out Paris too. he's a model brands tap in yeah, yeah. yeah. If you need if you need a runway model go get him elite. Yeah, he's elite <laughs> the only runway i could see myself walking down in fingers crossed would be like swim week that's like something i want to like get into like the swimwear swim week swim week miami around, around the corner let's do it that'll be fire i'm yeah. from row that's what I'm saying. Can we go front row? I want to go to a fashion show. No. Yeah. <laughs> They'll kick me out of there. 
<laughs> if I was walking, yeah, I'll be in there going. I could Let's look go. at you. I, you guys have to like you have to blend in because if I that's see what I'm saying. I almost don't. I want to be I'm in the back do, like, somewhere. I do this smirk when I like get shy. Like I my whole face like yeah. lights up. And, like, look, Nick's gonna have a media pass, and he's at the end of the. Just keep looking. Look just camera. look at Nick. Just mm-hmm. dead eye, and then you're good. No, yeah. I think you'll lock in, bro. That's that's game time. Like, yeah. If I'm on the court, I see you. Sometimes I like smile or whatever but yeah. like if, if it's close game i'm locked in so it's like i feel i've seen this girl she did like a vlog and when she did like a fashion show and they like the people tell you before you walk like what they're looking for they're like okay don't show personality just walk or if they're like hey like have fun with it do a little twirl and like if that were to be the case i would probably just like put my hand out and like yeah. touch your hand i'll be lit that's motion like that's tough i just like <laughs> my baby i wonder if, i wonder if like with the the runway stuff is it the model? Like I wonder. I wonder how they choose. Like, is it like the person that will best showcase their clothes, or is it like do they go off like? Is it like a talent to walking, or is it? You know what yeah, I mean? there's a talent to yeah. walking, for sure. Yeah, I'll heels, be wondering. You see Naomi Campbell walk? That girl can walk. She in heels. I just can't walk like that. That's just not happening. I tried to in my head. I think I look like that. But I don't <laughs> Are look. you saying like some brands like don't even care? Like, like who, cause I, I heard like from my other models and like exper- experiences, like they were saying like they had to cut their hair because their hair was oh too much and it was it was taken away from the clothes. So is it about the how beautiful the person is, or is it about who can just be who can just hide in plain sight? You know what I mean? Um. <laughs> I think it's like <laughs> I honestly think it could be I think the girls are beautiful I think I'm not saying they're beautiful I do think they're I want to say plain either they're not plain mm-hmm. I just feel like no I'm saying they can hide in plain sight almost like they can yeah. be beautiful but the clothes are like mm-hmm. I don't know focus. I just feel like any brand if Kendall Jenner says I want to walk for your brand they're taking her like no matter Absolutely. what her hair looks like mm-hmm. she yeah. could be blonde no eyebrows like Come mm-hmm. on. So yeah. like, I feel like if you're at that A list level, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. But I feel like maybe like a B list celebrity, like Balenciaga would be like, no, nah, we're okay. Yeah. yeah. I could see that. Another person that's really good walking is Bella Hadid. Mm, love her. I might, I'm, I'm going to try to walk a show. So that's Do a it. fire. That'd be tough. Do Why it. Not? Why not? Right. Paris. Patty. Yeah. Who knows? Bonjour. I'll Bonjour. be there. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. All right. I mean, you got anything else? Well, I hope you guys got to know more about me. If you don't already know me, I feel like if you know me personally, you know everything about me. But I hope you all got to know more. And you like, comment, comment so- and subscribe. You better follow, too. <laughs> all of us. Not just me. Yeah. But if you want to follow just me, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just joking. Yeah, too, please. Too. I'm just joking. Please. All right. I'm bro. just joking. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Wait, nigga, why do I actually like this? <laughs> every day you did it twice, huh? We get better and better every time. It's I'm telling y'all, we get we better and better. And Only is going, it's up from here. <laughs> yeah, he's playing TikToks over there like, what?